Tonight on Border Security. Customs detected dogs have picked up a strong scent. You're the only one that the dogs picked out of hundreds of people. Now officers are searching for answers. The invisible couriers. Struggling to make sense of it. Is this the start of a very disturbing trend to get drugs across the border? It's amazingly well concealed. I want you to tell me the truth. And immigration officers go out of their way to uncover a mystery. Why is your friend coming to Australia? For those who attempt to smuggle drugs through our airports, it's not just the customs officers they have to contend with. Also on the lookout are drug detector dogs. Just to the right place for the customs dog. And today at Brisbane International Airport, a dog has found something worth investigating. OK, I was just working the flight that's coming from Los Angeles, and my dogs reacted to a mail from that flight. It was a very strong reaction. The dog gave a positive independent sit on the gentleman. He alerted from uh, a few metres away and then tracked it into that guy from the flight and gave a very strong reaction and I gave him a reward from that reaction because it was so strong. So we would assume that you know there's a possibility he may have some drugs on him. So what I'll do now is just hand it over to the other customs officer to do a further search on him and see what comes up. All right, so one of the reasons why we're doing this examination is the fact that you had a, a good reaction from one of the, our, our dog units. So the dog's actually gone through a, a large number of people to actually to get to you. I'm just wondering, can you explain that to me why? Oh, I thought it was because of my dogs. I have a lot of dogs. I have you have a lot of dogs? Yeah. OK, well, um, this sort of reaction is not the sort of reaction we get, get from someone who's been around dogs. We okay. actually get it because there's a, a possibility of narcotics. OK. okay. Were uh... you, you know, is there any possible reason that you're using beforehand? Are uh, you using at all, or were you carrying anything on you? No, I'm not trying to use right now. I'm on vacation with my wife, man. Mm -hmm. You know all what right, I mean? I understand just, that. Yeah. But you got to understand why I'm yeah, asking yeah, yeah. No, questions. No, 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 okay? no, no. No hostility. So there's no, no reason why the dog should just go through 300 odd people and basically uh, pick you out of a lineup. I didn't know it was no doing idea. that. I didn't know it was doing that. I didn't know it did that, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. What can I say? What can I? In Brisbane Immigration, a Singaporean passenger is being interviewed after customs officers found professional cooking implements in his bags. So now Officer Abdi needs to determine if he's a genuine tourist. Why have you come to Australia? Uh, for holiday. Have you ever been to Australia before? No. How long do you intend to uh, have a holiday in Australia? Not more than 30 days. But maybe early you can see how I can go back. So do you have any uh, idea of which places to visit and where to see in Australia? Yeah, I will just visit here with my friend. So uh, who is his friend? Uh, Vivian. What's Vivian's job in Australia? So Yeah, he's making a cake. Baker, a baker. Officer Abdi thinks the passenger's Australian contact may have more information about his reasons for coming here. At Sydney's International Mail Centre, an officer and another drug detector dog are inspecting various packages. If the dog sits in front of an item, it's a good indication that there has been some contact with narcotics. Good boy, matey. Good fella. This is exactly the reaction he was looking for. The parcel is handed over to Officer Kane, who will X-ray the item, looking for inconsistencies that could indicate a drug concealment. I've had a look at the X-ray and there doesn't seem to be anything too unique about it. It just kind of looks like a poster. But the dogs had a really strong reaction to it, so I've had okay. it opened by Australia Post. Just looks like a... Plastic? Just a roll of plastic. Maybe a, a lamination or a laminate yeah. um, machine, possibly, a roll. It's not going to a business, is it? No, it's not. What do you think? That's a, how you'd kind of expect it to feel? Yeah, you like. It seems to be pretty consistent with what I'd expect. Can't see any real indication that there's anything untoward. 
The small two-metre roll of plastic has Officer Kane puzzled as to why the drug detector dog reacted to it. So if narcotics are present, they are well concealed. So yeah, so when you were travelling, did you come straight from the States to here or do you yeah. go by? Yeah. An American couple has travelled to Australia for their anniversary, but a drug detector dog has reacted strongly to the male passenger. Yeah, it's empty. Yeah. Officers are taking no chances, examining all their belongings to find why the dog has reacted. OK, no shadows, no sign of concealment. That's fine. They've also taken swabs to test for the presence of narcotics. That test I did before tests for a lot of things. It also tests for um, uh, not only um, residue of, of explosives and stuff like that, also tests for narcotics and drugs and that. Now, it's come up positive with cocaine. Because it was on your wallet. Just inquiring as to um, have you used previously before, or is this something that's new to you? Like, can you explain why I'd find a reading on it? In so Brisbane, I, this I man has been asked to explain the positive drug readings from his oh, wallet. Well, I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it came in contact mm -hmm. or a thing, or I've been out and everything else. Oh. But yeah, I mean, I, I know for a fact. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, was it, it was actually I tested several things like uh, purse. PDA, that sort of thing. No, I have no idea. You have no idea? Because it was on your wallet. Uh, that's why I'm asking. You know, oh, yeah. A well, wallet's a fairly personal item. You don't usually generally give that out to someone. Uh, maybe when I go clubbing and I give out my ID or something? I have no idea. All right, no worries. <laughs> Forget that. The dog handler trusts his dog's strong reaction, so he's still concerned the passenger has been in contact with narcotics. Well, what? I mean, what? We have to, I we have to make sure you're not carrying anything to the country. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. I, I, I fully understand that. And I appreciate that, and I, I respect that, and everything else like that. And um... you're the only one that the dogs picked out of hundreds of people at the back. What do you think that looks like to us? I don't know. I'm sure you can guess. Meanwhile, officers are searching for answers as to why a drug dog reacted to this package containing a roll of plastic. Is there anything else in that? You know, there's nothing else. So, if there's nothing concealed inside the cylinder packaging, it's back to the plastic itself. I'm tr struggling to make sense of it. It's, it seems to be an in, almost an industrial type object. Um, I'm just leaning towards starting to think about um, impregnation in, within this material. So we'll try and do some testing on this and see what sure. we can find. I've, I've seen uh, intelligence reports on similar uh, concealment methods, but we've never actually seen it. So if there is cocaine in bed in there, it would be very interesting to see. I might uh, just cut a small slice off and put it inside the Nick test. This simple test could reveal the emergence of a new trend in international drug trafficking methods. A Singaporean chef on a tourist visa has immigration officers concerned that he might be here to work. So you, 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 are, you are a chef yourself? Yeah, I'm a chef. So you, do you work uh, in a restaurant or in a bakery? Or? Uh, bakery. So are you currently employed in that in that bakery? Uh, no more, no more. No more. Uh, so you left your job in uh, Singapore? Just left. When when Australian customs officer is searched your bag, they found uh, a tool, a baking tool. Baking tools. Can you tell me what was that for? Uh, for biscuit. Biscuit, oh. biscuit. Why did you bring that tool to Australia? Oh, no. The one is uh, Vivian coming to buy the, look for the, this one. Uh. Mm. So Vivian asked you to bring that to uh, her. Yeah, yeah. 
she called you? Yeah, I, she called me. And then she asked you to bring that to my my for her. He's here for one month, but the passenger has no itinerary, very little money, no credit cards, and no good reason to return to Singapore. Now, Officer Abdi will need to find the passenger's friend to verify his story. Basically, what I want to ask you is, you're coming here to meet a friend? Yes. And did you ask him to bring any gifts to you? Any gift? Yes. Yeah. What did you ask him to bring you? Uh, I asked him to buy me some pastry books. Pastry books? Yes. Anything else? And wine. So, do you understand that uh, providing misleading information? Misleading. Misleading information to our uh, immigration officer yep. is an offense? Yes, I know. What you told me and what he told me are Different. not the same. So I want you to tell me now the truth of the reason is of why your friend is coming to Australia. Dogs, dogs come up to you for a reason and sit on you for a reason. And that's because he's a drug dog. There's been a positive drug dog reaction in Brisbane and customs officers want to know why. Drugs on you? No. no. Cannabis? No. Do you smoke cannabis? Yeah, I smoke cannabis. When was the last time you smoked cannabis? <laughs> what, what, 14 hours ago, I'd say? Well, as well as, obviously, you would still be on your clothes then, but as well as having smoked it. I can't say these dogs are very well trained. I'm not saying they're not. They're, they're, well, they're, 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 they're the best friend. My goodness, I'm pretty he's obviously sure. Obviously, he's done his job pretty good today, I think. And I think you've done a good job with it too. Oh, he's a nice, pretty dog. I don't know what where to go from here. Well, I'll just hand it over to my supervisor, and then we'll see where we go, just so we can be sure that you're not carrying anything into the country, okay? Okay. Hey, guy. So I'm the supervisor here. Um, I've sort of got a brief overview of the situation here. Understandably, the dogs reacted to you. Okay. I want you to be completely honest with me now. In that time, did you have any narcotics on your body? Okay. 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 Honestly, what happened was, I came in, everything else like that. I seen the other dogs out there in the in the hallway, and sure. everything else like that. Went right by them, no problem. Went into the line, and then the dog came. Okay. So you know, I was like, oh, all right, no big deal. All right. Came again. Oh wow. Wait a minute. Maybe I should go wash up and everything else like that. Is that because? You had a fear that... I don't want any trouble, sir. No, I but why, want, did, why, I did, wanted... why, why did you wash up? Because I knew I because I knew I smoked earlier. Right. Right. Yeah, and, then, well, and they're throwing the towel and everything else. Like, what, what am I going to do? Okay. Oh, I just don't want to get in trouble, sir. In Brisbane, immigration has concerns about this passenger's intentions during his stay in Australia. The officer is now confirming his story with a friend who's been waiting in the arrivals hall. So tell me exactly if he has an intention. Intention. To, intention. If he has a desire to come to Australia and get a job. I know he's a chef. Does he wish or did you discuss with him that he will come here and work? I want you to tell me the truth. He, he called me that he said he wants to come here first is visit me. Mm -hmm. He said that's okay and then come to the visit me and see whether that is a good opportunity or whatever. So, you have discussed with him that he will come here to visit first yes. and then look for an opportunity for work, whether it's in the future or at, at the present, at present. This is what he told me. That's what he told you? Yeah. Good. This is enough for Officer Abdi to go back to the passenger and confront him with this conflicting information. I spoke to Vivian, and Vivian told me that you called her and asked her that you want to come into Australia yeah. to visit first and then see if there is any opportunity for work. Is that correct? I just say that if there's an opportunity to work, then I will apply for permission to come here to work. Okay. Yeah, so if there is an opportunity for work, so if there is an opportunity for work in a bakery, you will apply. No, I need to know the pay first before I can decide what to do. 
Do you have anything more to tell me? Me or no? No. Officer Abdi will now give the passenger a notice of intention to cancel his visa. If you have information, I'm not satisfied that you are a genuine visitor. So you're invited now to provide your comments at interview. So With few funds and no job back in Singapore, and an admission that he was going to look for work, the passenger will now have to come up with a good reason to convince Officer Abdi, or he will be sent home on the next available flight. At the International Mail Centre, customs suspect that they may have an extraordinary new method of concealing drugs within plastic. Uh, it's a negative result on that. We'll do an itemizer scan on it. Um, we've got to swab and see if it gets any reaction. There we go, cocaine. Strength of 2.79, so that's a good result. This is one of the first times this type of concealment devised in the laboratories of South America has been seen. It's amazingly well concealed, very hard to tell. Uh, when we have a, a powder that we found inside something, it's, it's there and you can see it with this. It, it's, ver it's a very sophisticated method of concealment and quite a surprise to get the positive result. And then, just days later, officers have made a further discovery. Officer Kerry is briefing her supervisor. We did checks on this name, and we also did checks on this address. Mm -hmm. It is exactly the same name and exactly the same address as the rolls of plastic that contain oh, okay. cocaine. They're just blank pages. It just looks and like And if you it. were to flick through the photo album, you, there is no way you would pick it up and say, that actually contains drugs. The plastic film was referred to the Australian Federal Police. It was found to contain 25 grams of cocaine. The two photo albums were also referred to the AFP. Investigations into both imports are continuing. We're going to give you the chance now uh, to basically, if you have anything either on your body or in your bag, let us know now. Do you have anything? No. I'm not, I don't got anything on me. Like you, you said before, you obviously used cannabis. When was the last time? Oh my gosh. Say a day ago or so? A day ago. Smoked some butt, yeah. Right. So where, where was that? That was in the car. Right before the flight? Mm -hmm. In your car? Yeah, well, I can't do it in the airport. And did you smoke all of it? No, I left her like a roach or something like that. And was that in your belongings with you? Uh, you know what, can I, can I look in here real quick to make sure, sure it's not in my, my cigarettes or anything okay. like that? No, I'm good. Have you come to law enforcement interest before? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess you could say okay. that. And okay. what was that for? Uh, playing poker. Um, I went out and I uh, was smoking a, a joint and, and the tribal police, it's Indian casino mm -hmm. up there. And uh, yeah, just with the tribal police. Okay. And what, what was the result of that? Ticket. What we'd like to do, uh, we'd like to conduct a frisk search, which is basically just a pat down the outside of your clothes, okay? This basically is an information card. I'm just going to to read this, and this will explain the process in a little bit more detail. It is read in full and understand it. All right, so do you consent to the search? Oh, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, I consent. All right. Um, uh, this officer here will be conducting the search. Yeah, so just let me know if you want me to stop, OK? With a drug detector dog reacting so strongly to this passenger, could this frisk search reveal what officers are looking for? This Singaporean passenger has just been given the opportunity to convince Officer Abdi as to why his visa should not be cancelled. We know he did not violate Australian laws yet, but he has an intention to violate Australian laws. And that's why we're considering 
uh, to cancel his visa before he violates the laws of Australia. I consider that there are grounds for visa cancellation, as I'm satisfied that you did not have the time of the grant of the visa or cease it to have an intention only to visit Australia temporarily for tourism purposes. Therefore, your visa has been cancelled. As you are no longer the holder of a visa, you have been refused immigration clearance and will be removed from Australia as an unlawful non-citizen. Customs are searching a man who admitted to using marijuana right before boarding his flight. They want to be sure he's not carrying any across the border. Okay. Can you understand um, why we have our concerns oh, today? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I just want to see your, your country. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, my bad. It just looks it looks highly suspect for us when you come through. A, a trained detective dog reacts to you. Okay. Okay. Yours. All right. All right, sir, I've actually finished looking at your bags, and um, you guys are right to go. I'll give you your passports back. This husband and wife can now begin to celebrate their anniversary. Now officers are satisfied they're not carrying any narcotics. I don't. Well, the thing is, the thing is, when they open everything up, I guess I use this when we did, we just came back from Vegas. And then when they open everything up, everything's like Vegas, this, Vegas, that, and then he's asking me, well, how did this happen? I'm like, it's Vegas. <laughs> End of the day, you know, we've got to do our job and, and we can only do that job by, you know, looking through his bags and assessing him. And in this case, we assess that risk and thought he's not bringing anything in, so he uh, departed. Well, I'm here to see the surf and uh, stay out of trouble now. <laughs>